hello friends in this session we are going to talk about ospf virtual link i know there are so many people who know the concept of the ospf virtual link and they know how to implement but frankly speaking before the implementation we need to know what are the concept behind this technology because if you are going for the interview he will not ask you how you are going to implement what are the command line you are using he will ask you what are the concept behind of this ospf virtual link okay so that we are going to discuss in this session so let's get started so first of all my name is gaurav so i'm using unl platform uni unl platform is called as unified networking lake the same as appropriate platform of eve both are the same platform you can do this practical on packet tracer or gns3 or unl or eve you can use on any another another platform so first of all as you can see here here i have created one topology in this topology you can see there is a four router which are connected to each other next more thing one more thing you can see here i have created three different areas the, this one is my first area is area 10 second area middle area is area 20 and the third area is area 0 okay so i know there are so many people who knows the ospf concept before this practical i am going to tell you you need to know the basic configuration basic configuration basic concept about the ospf so what are those concept you need to know that i am going to tell you right now so first of all okay so suppose that if you are if you are configuring virtual link before that you need to know what is the ospf how we need to configure the ospf what is the concept of router id what is drbdr relation what are the area concept what are the types of areas what command line we need to use what is the ad value <coughs> what are the features of ospf those are the basic things that used to be covered in our ccna portion that you need to know okay so now we are going to start osp open as you can see here i have created for router here i have created this topology in this topology there is a four router okay one minute okay as you can see here i have four routers here the first two routers the first router is completely connected in area then as you can see here in this topology before this practical you need to know the basic osp configuration that i already informed you so as you can see here here is my router one router when there is a one interface ethernet one 0/0 slash ip address is 192.168.1.0 1.1 that i have configured here as you can see here here is a my another router router 2 router 2 is connected to the area 10 and here is connected to area 20 as well as as you can see here router 3 router is connected one interface is connected to area 0 and another interface is connected to area 20 now and before starting the practical as you can see here i didn't do any configuration on i didn't do any ospf configuration on on all this router so first of all i will do one thing i will i will configure router 1 router 2 and router 3 and router 4 okay so first of all here is my first router so i will show you what basic configuration i have done on this router show ip interface brief i simply provided the ip address i didn't create any loopbacks so i will do one thing i will create some loopbacks here so what what loopback i will create here so i will do one thing i will create here on r1 10.10.10.10/32 that is very easy to understand this is the configuration if you are thinking i am doing little bit fast so you can pause and you just check it what are the configuration i have done here so as you can see here now show ip interface brief that is a verification command what ip address i have provided on interface so as you can see here 10.10.10.10/32 i have configured this loopback on r2 i will configure 20.20.20.20 so what i will do here i will create the i will configure router id manually so for manually purpose uh, i will provided this 10.10.10.10 on our, our router 1 as a router id on router 2 i will configure 20.20.20.20 this is the virtual interface if you don't know what are this loopback that, that you should know because Uh, for uh, ospf configuration this is very necessary we need to know 
router 3 i will configure on router 3 okay 30.30.30.30.255.255.255.0 okay oh sorry 25 slash 32 i am configuring that's the mistake okay done same thing i will have to configure on router 4 interface loopback 0 40.40.40.40.255.255.255.255 no shutdown okay so i have just done the basic configuration now i have provided the ip address and i have configured all loopback interfaces on router 1 router 2 and router 3 and router 4 all of the routers so now i will start basic configuration of ospf later i will show you how to configure the ospf link and why we need to configure ospf link because concept is important practically everybody knows because these are the only two or three commands that is very easy commands anybody can use it okay but before that if you know the concept that is a like good point so first of all i'm going on router one so i will configure here router osp of 100 so as you can see if you put the question mark that is the beauty of the cisco ios so if you put in the question mark you will know you will get to know what are the next command you have to write so as you can see here here they are asking about the process id so i will do one thing i will use process id 100 you can use any number whether it is 200 300 400 500 60,000, 50,000, whatever, it, it can be anything. Next thing, I am going to configure router ID manually. Router ID 10.10.10.10. Okay, next thing. Now I am going to configure interfaces in area ID. So, first interface 192.168.1.0. I am configuring network, okay, because that network. I need to configure in particular area which I have mentioned in my topology so this particular network is mentioned in area 10 so I'm going to configure so next thing if you put the question mark in OSP of they are asking about the wild karma so I, what I will do here I will configure here wild karma because this is my uh, class C network so obviously class C subnet mass is 255 255 255 so I just need to put here instead of subnet mass I will put here wild karma area 10 okay next thing i have loop back here so i'll configure my loop back here 10.10.10.10 so as it i'm configuring that's why i'm putting this thing show run pipe section ospf for checking the configuration what configuration we have done on ospf so these are the command so right now what i configured here router id and both of the networks as configured in area id so now you will have to focus on r2 because this is very important because R2 is connected to the area 10 and area 20. So while doing this configuration, you have to concentrate on which interface you have to configure in which area ID. So now you can see here router OSP of 100. I'm using the same process ID because as I told you before, without same process ID, they will not recognize to each other whether it is in same group or not. Process ID is nothing but it's like a group only. Okay. So next thing router ID. Okay, next thing here I need to configure three networks. The first network is 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.255 area 10 because this network is belong to area 10 as you can see in, here in this picture. Okay, we got the logs here in the slug you can see here they are making the neighborship here they are made the neighborship. You can see here here they are using the process ID neighborship is done. Okay loading full these are the OSP stages that you need to know <coughs> next interface 192.168.2.0 this is the my next network 0.0.0.255 area 20 <coughs> okay so this is my second network okay which is connected towards area 20 so you can see here here i have configured area 20 that is my area id okay now the third network is 20 so what i am going to do here here i will configure this my loopback interface in area 20 here i am provided 32 masks so that's why i'm configuring the exact area 20 okay so here i will check my osp configuration so i have done this osp configuration here there's a three interfaces this is my loopback 
this is my ethernet 0 slash 0 interface and this is my ethernet 0 slash 1 interface network okay so let's jump to the router 3 on router 3 as you can see here three interfaces one is a loopback router OSP of 100 that is process ID router ID 30.30.30.30 next one is network 192.168.2.0.0.0.0.255 area 20 that we need to mention okay see neighborship done next interface next network 192.168.3.0.0.0.0.255 area 0 okay that you have to uh, concentrate here because what happened on R2 and R3 as you can see on R2 and R3 these are the router are connected to different areas R2 is connected to area 10 and area 20 even R3 is connected to area 20 and area 0 so while doing the configuration you have to concentrate which are the network are con configured in which area ID that you need to know next one here I have configured my loopback so I am configuring this loopback in area 20 okay so it's very easy to understand R2 and R3 both of those loopbacks are configured in area 20 okay so now I will show you my configuration show run 5 section OSPF as you can see here all of the configuration is done this is my interface ethernet 0 slash 1 that is a particular network this one is ethernet 0 slash 2 another side okay which is considering in area 0 and loopback I have configured in area 20 so now I am configuring my last router, router 4. For better understanding, you can configure the host name here. For like, because what happened, you can see here. Suppose that if I open all this router like this. So now you can see here, here also host name is router. Here is also host name is router. Might it get be it get like a little bit confusion. But if you are using the host name, that will be good. So simple command R host name 4. Okay. Router OSP of 100 sorry router id 40.40.40.40 okay network i have to advertise here only two network i have to advertise 192.168.3.0.0.0.0.255 wildcard mask area 0 the next one is 40.40.40.40 0.0.0.0 area 0 okay so now you can see here here also neighborship is done okay so I am going to tell you one more good thing here if you are mistake like suppose that if you did some mistake here instead of wildcard mask you are putting the subnet mask I will show you show running configuration see now here just consider this is my network 192.160.3.0 which I have configured in area 0 by mistakely instead of wildcard mask if you dropped if you configure subnet mask so what will happen I am just removing this command neighborship goes down so I will show you instead of wildcard mask I am dropping subnet mask what will happen see I have configured subnet mask neighborship is done now I will check the configuration show or run pipe section OSP you can see automatically converted to the wildcard mask because that is the beauty of OSP protocol automatically taking the wildcard mask so now you can see here I have configured all those things so R1 there is an interface loopback interface 10.10.10.10 interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address is 192.168.1.1 as per the concept area 20 is connected to the area 0 area 0 is called as a backbone area if you are not knowing about what are the backbone area you should know what are the basic concept of the OSPF because without basic concept it is it will be very difficult to understand what are the backbone area what are the ABR router what are the types of area how they are communicating what are the neighborship so you should know the basic concepts so first of all I am jumping on router 4 here I will check show IP route as I can see, I, I can see here R1 is connect R1 having directly connect, directly connected routes. So 40 network which is directly connected R4. I am talking about R4. 
next thing 192.168.3.0 this network also is directly connected here we can see here next one those route which is coming from the another area it will be we can see here oia oia that is called ospf inter area route those route which is coming from the another area so now you can see here i cannot able to see here 192.168.1.0 network which is belong to area 10 as well as 10.10.10.10 .10 network which is also belong to area 10 what what's going to happen here what is exactly happening what happened area 0 is a backbone router area 20 is a area okay so what what happened here where were the area like area 20 is connected to the area 0 okay if any area is not connected to the area 0 so those router means like here is there is a two network 192.168.1.0 and 10.10.0.0.0 this network which will not come in to area 0 that is the main problem for that purpose we need to use the virtual link now you can see here on r4 on r4 routing table i cannot able to see 192.168.1.0 network as well as 10.10.10.10 .10 this network okay so now you can see here there's a one router router 3 and this is router router 2 these are the two routers which is connected to the different areas so what what i'm going to do here with the help of virtual link i will transfer this particular networks to area 0 so before the configuration i need to create virtual link from r2 to r3 there is only one physical link but i am not talking about the physical link i am talking about the virtual link so what i am going to do here i am creating one virtual link here i need to configure there is a only simple one step configuration okay so once i configure these things so now automatically you can see on r4 r4 is able to understand is able to learn the network which is advertised by area 10 okay so there is a very basic configuration so focus on the configuration only so first of all i am going on router 2 router osp of 100 okay process id area 20 virtual link okay because r2 is making a neighborship with r3 30.30.30.30 okay same thing i am going i am going towards router 3 and i'll configure router osp of 100 area 20 virtual link 20.20.20.20 okay so now what happened i have created show ip osp of neighbor you can see here here is i have created one virtual link means what happened r2 and r3 now in between them there is a one virtual link okay so with the help of this virtual link means what happened what i did here now it is like this area area 10 is directly connected to the area 0 instead of area 20 exactly this is happening in between it middle of between them okay so if i if i check configuration on r4 show ip route now you can see here i can able to see 10 network 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 network which is advertised by area 10 as well as 192.168.1.0 network which is also advertised by area 10 this is how we need to configure ospf virtual link okay so uh, suppose that if you are go if you have completed your ccna program suppose that if you're going for the any interview if he's asking for the ospf virtual link uh, most probably you will not you will not going to give the answer because what happened because you don't know the what is the exact answer because in ccna program ospf virtual link concept is not there so for that purpose you need to know what is the ccnp program in ccnp program there is a so many uh, concept about the ospf lss that you need to know so ospf virtual link is a concept coming under the ccnp level program in ccna might they will ask you if area 0 is connected to area 20 area 20 is connected to the area 10 so is it possible area 10 route will redirect to area 0 so that is not possible because what happened as per the concept area 0 is my backbone area 
what your the areas is coming to the picture or area should be connected to the area 0 because area 0 is backbone router so now here in this topology area 10 is connected to the area 20 and area 20 is connected to the area 0 means what will happen area 0 will understand this much networks only okay he will not able to understand area 10 so what happened with the help of virtual link what will happen what we have created here we created one virtual link it means r3 is directly connected to the area 10 now okay so as per the concept area 10 now is connected to the area 0 so they are sharing their networks so this is how we need to configure osp of virtual link so this is the very easy method for the configuration you just do the configuration if you have any doubt you just comment on below so i'll definitely give the answer so thank you so much bye bye